All right, guys, today we're gonna to show you how to do the quickest and easiest oil change on your Tundra 5.7. Here's everything that you'll need. Oil filter wrench, and then in this case, it's a performance tool, so that requires a half inch drive. I have a half inch to three eighths adapter because I wanna use my three eighths ratchet. You need a new crush washer for your drain bolt. You need the three eighths extension, a 14 mil socket, ratchet, Preferably some gloves, some rags, oil filter. You'll need about eight quarts of Zero W20 oil, and then an oil drain pan. And that's everything that you need in order to do this job. All right guys, so we're in the truck. Let's go ahead and warm it up just a bit, just to get that oil flowing freely, and then we'll go ahead and change it up. All right, we let it run for about a minute and a half or two, and that's good enough. We don't want it to be scalding hot. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Open your hood up. Find your oil filler cap. Go ahead and remove that. Set that aside for the moment. All right, guys, we're under the truck. We're gonna undo five 12 millimeter bolts. So you will need a 12 millimeter socket for those. And then you will have three screws holding your bumper in place to the splash tray. I don't have those. Okay, now that the pan is removed, You'll see the oil drain bolt here on the pan, back behind the cross member. All right, now we will loosen that 14 millimeter socket and drain the oil. This is always where the fun begins. This is where the fun begins. And here we go. All right. Now that we've sufficiently let that drain, we are going to replace the copper crush washer here. I'm using a 5 8 copper crush washer. And then what you'll do next is you will take your ratchet and your 3 8 extension and you'll put it in there, the oil filter drain plug, and loosen that up and let it drain. Now in the case of mine, mine always likes to spin free without actually turning this cap and that's okay. It's not entirely necessary, it just makes the job easier. And then you'll take your oil filter wrench here. and line up the castellated portions with the castellated teeth here on the oil filter wrench. Like I said, it really helps if you can get the drain plug out, but a lot of times I can't. All right, here's our oil filter. Here is our oil filter, so we'll take this out. This just pulls out of the filter cap here. Just gonna clean the filter out here with some uh, brake parts cleaner. All right, now that it's off the truck, I can actually put this in a vise and hopefully get the uh, cap off. And there we have it. So then, you will unscrew the cap. Some oil might come out now. I forgot to mention this in the tool list, but you'll need a flathead screwdriver to pop that O-ring out. And then seat the new O-ring. 
and replace the drain cap. Now to replace the o-ring on the oil filter housing. Use a flathead screwdriver there as well. And install the new o-ring. There's a channel here for it. There we are. And then drop the new filter into place. Doesn't matter which direction. Now, replace the oil filter housing. And then tighten down the rest of the way with the oil filter wrench here. And then just get that snug. Doesn't need to be extremely tight. And now, we'll begin to fill our oil. Gonna use the entire five quart jug here. All right, here is our sixth quart. Quart number seven. And here after the seventh quart, we're gonna make sure and just check the line as we go. We're just gonna fill it up to the fill line since there might be some leftover oil and make sure that we're at the optimal instead of just adding 7.4 directly. Because you're never gonna get all the oil. Might be hard to see, but we are right on the mark here. So what we're gonna do is go start up the truck now and warm it up and make sure that all the oil circulates and that we're at the right level still. Let's so just start the truck up, let it run for a minute. Let's go ahead and check the oil. Shut the truck off. Check our dipstick here. Okay, now it reads just a tad low it looks like, so we're going to add just a little bit more. And once you reach that optimal level, we're going to go and put the splash tray back on. Alright guys, well that's the job done, so congrats to you. Now all that's left is to get a nice juicy cup of lemonade and help yourself to a like or a subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching.